Just kidding. Check it out. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jordan. Today's video is going to be pretty short and sweet, just walking you through my camera bag and what's in it. Every time I post a picture of this stuff, I always get a bunch of questions, not just about the gear itself, but about the camera case. So for most of my cameras and lenses, I have them nicely organized in a Pelican 1535 hard shell case. There are various options you can get for this case. You can get different colors. You can get different interiors where you have the pick and pluck foam. I opted for the Trek Pack system, which is the nice custom dividers that you can cut and fit exactly how you want. Also, this is not a sponsored or gifted thing at all. I paid full price myself for all all this stuff because it's worth it. So this case, once again, it's the 1535 is carry on size because you never want to check expensive camera and lens equipment. Also, hey, important to brand yourself. Here's the bulk of the camera and lenses that I tend to travel with. I have the Sony a7R4 in here with the battery grip. I have a Sony a7 IV also kind of as the backup. And then I have uh, a few lenses. Sometimes I'll pack some different ones. I'll swap them out depending on the project. Generally, I have my uh, 24 to 70. This is uh, the Sigma art version. Great lens, uh, really use this a ton for both photo and video work. Then I also have my Sony 90 millimeter macro lens. Great, uh, fairly inexpensive macro lens that I basically shoot all of my videos with this, almost all of them, um, as well as a lot of photos as well. And then uh, here we have a 50 millimeter lens. This is once again, a Sigma art version. Uh, Sigma just makes some really great lenses that work really well with the Sony system. And they're just a little less expensive than the Sony G Master versions. And then uh, speaking of Sony G Master, I do have the Sony G Master a 14 millimeter, which I don't use a ton uh, for my work, uh, just since I'm not doing a whole lot of wide angle stuff, but occasionally when I'm shooting in bars and restaurants, they want some interior photos. So it's good to have a good wide angle lens on hand. Then of course, good to have plenty of memory cards ready to go. Also have them in their own nice little Pelican case just to keep them safe and dry. I have a whole other camera case just for lighting, but I always keep at least one speed light in my bag because you never know when you're gonna need more light. I also have this little box, which is little lighting modifier specifically for that speed light. There's like a collapsible snoot in there and some barn doors, so very helpful. As well as uh, little mini tripods that I can attach uh, the speed light too, so I can place it on a bar top or wherever I need it. Down here, I have a little tin that has some sticky tack in it. This is for shooting uh, products, which is a lot of what I do. This is great for keeping bottles or products from rolling or moving around on set. So great to have that around. Next we have sensor cleaner, very important. Not one, but two wireless triggers just for controlling my lighting equipment. And here we have a camera battery charger as well as extra batteries. Very important stuff. And once again, what's keeping this all nice and beautifully organized is the Trek Pack system, which are all these custom cut divider walls that I cut and put in there myself. It's a super easy, really great system for organizing your gear and keeping it safe. So getting a Trek Pack divider system, it's not exactly the cheap option. It will make getting a Pelican case quite a bit more expensive, but in my professional opinion, it's totally worth it. Comes with all of these panels. This is just excess from when I made my current setup in my camera bag, but has all these panels, usually quite a bit longer from this so that you can measure them, cut them down to size. It's made with a pretty rigid plastic in the middle with all of these channels and then some pretty tough foam on either side. But first, before you do any cutting, get all of your gear into the case or all the gear that you want to at least try to fit into the case. And then mess around with a few layouts because if you measure this out and cut everything and put it in and then let's say you have to rearrange or a camera or a lens doesn't fit the way you thought, then you're gonna have to recut or maybe even spend more money and buy more dividers. So it's best to just have everything laid out how you want it, make sure you're happy with that, and then cut up your dividers and put them in place. So I keep all of my gear in the case while I'm measuring and cutting, so I can kind of set the divider in there, see where I need to cut it, just make sure you're really precise on this, because once you cut it, there's no going back. But the Trek Pack divider thing comes 
with this little slicer tool that fits perfectly into the plastic grooves in the divider panels. So once you know exactly where you want to cut it, you can place the divider and then you just pull through and it's really clean and easy. It doesn't take a whole lot of effort. It just gives you a nice clean straight cut so that you can perfectly slide in the divider. And they all come with these little bags of metal pins for holding the dividers in place and they do that really well. They also have these little red pull tabs in case you want to pull up the pins later and change the layout of your Trek pack. Now obviously it comes with way more pins than you need because I have a ton left over. Like I said, it's a great system. I've flown several times with this exact case and setup and it's kept everything safe and secure. So I'm really happy with it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. <laughs>